So what's up guys, in today's video I wanted to talk about something that's really been on my heart lately and I'm sorry if you hear hammering in the background, that is the neighbors doing I don't even know what, anyway uh, and that is how society often today exploits children and teenagers and adults with mental illnesses but as you guys know my main focus is children and teenagers since they, in my opinion, tend to get the bulk of all the stuff. So, you know, we see documentaries, like, that are meant to spread awareness of mental illness and children's teens, uh, children's, children, teens, and adults. And that is all well and good. That is great. We need more of that. But we often run across, you know, things like that that really just seem like they're just in it for the publicity and it's completely false as to how they portray people with mental illness and how they treat the people who they're talking about. You know, they shove cameras in the faces of people with mental illnesses. Now that... I mean, someone without a mental illness, that would tick somebody off. And they would, you know, that would not be received very well by probably anyone if they did not want a camera shoved in their face. If you shoved the camera in the face of someone who's having a mental breakdown, who cannot help it, who deep down knows that their meltdown is going to be published on TV, and, you know, all that... Uh, how would you expect them to react? And I remember uh, seeing a documentary. Uh, I guess you can call it a documentary. It was, uh, it's called Chi Children of Darkness. I don't remember much about the documentary itself, but I remember, obviously, the title because they just said it. And the title alone is just ridiculous. Children of Darkness. We're not children of darkness. We're children of God, just as everyone else is. How can people even think? How do people even think to label us as children of darkness? As whatever they label us as. You know, violent. Whatever they want to label us as. We're not children of darkness. We're not killers. We're not whatever society chooses to label us as we're people who have illnesses just like someone who has a physical illness who need help and medicine and guidance and friendship and love and all of that just like they do so in today's video I just really wanted to touch upon that and you know just show not really show I don't know how to put it but just go into a little bit of how society tends to exploit people with mental illnesses for entertainment, for publicity, for whatever, and how how much this society has fallen and how much we need to get it back to the way it was. You know what? This society has never really been that great. I mean... I hate to sound so pessimistic, but, I mean, I also want to be as real as possible. You know, back when our nation was first formed, you know, the people who formed our nation intended this to be a nation built on Christian principles and spread the love of God, well, spread the love of God and to make sure our citizens are protected and all that stuff and just not even in this you know aspect I'm sorry my throat's kind of bugged me with the dry air oh, dry air with the cold weather and all that uh you know they wanted this to be a nation that will look after its citizens as well as you know, as well as the world, really, to be there for whoever 
Just for everyone. Okay, I'm going off on off topic anyway. Uh, and we've fallen so far from that. And I just really wanted to, you know, put that out there and if we can get a discussion going about what we need to do to work towards fixing this and don't tell me it can't be done I mean come on if you know it, it, it can be done people just have to work at it that's why it's not changing it's not because it can't be done people just use that excuse it's that people aren't working at it and I don't mean everybody a lot of people are working at it but there aren't enough people that are working at it you know it can't be done by one person so just I really want to get a discussion going about how we can change how society views people with mental illnesses and get your guys's I think that's right grammar uh, opinions and you know just Get your guys' views and opinions and all that good stuff. So, I'll see you guys in the next one, and God bless.